So I'm entering a short story competition in my local area. I have had months to do this and now I have seven days. So I thought I'd bring you along with me this week on a writing vlog as I write, edit and submit a short story. <laughs> So this will be my first short story I think I have ever written. I am not very good at finishing things. I'm not very good at consistency. The competition is a 3,000 word maximum with no theme. I've written the first section, the first thousand words. I'll keep you updated with how I do throughout the day. workshop thingy writing group <laughs> is over it was just kind of like a zoom call and everyone just kind of wrote for an hour in silence which is what i wanted i managed to be writing before we started but i ended up not writing at all no nope, that's not true i wrote two and a half lines i did research something that i needed to know because i've been wanting to write the end since i started and you know what we don't have to write chronologically, so I was going to write that, but then I needed to know something to write that. And then I spent the time researching that, and then I got distracted on Pinterest. So, there's that. The current word count on my main document is 1,482. So since starting this morning, I've done about 200 or so words. It's now 25 past 2, and I might try to see if I can get a little bit more done, but then again, we're going to go swimming at 3, so... I'll catch up with you a little bit later. This morning I woke up about half eight, finished one of my books I was reading. I, it was Walking Home by Simon Armitage. I've been reading that one for quite a while so it's good to have actually finished it. I didn't end up writing any more after I checked in with you last. So I'm currently on 1,482 words. So I need to finish the first draft, get to 3,000 words. I'm hoping I might be able to do that today. Or at least, at least hit 2,000 or 2,500 maybe. But I also have a little bit of a haul today. I ordered some book off World of Books. Bless you. Strangely, this entire order was non-fiction. Right, so it looks like only two of them have arrived. I did order three. I bought the Fine Art of Copy Editing, and that is by Elise. No, <laughs> I want to say Elise Myers because Elise Myers is on Instagram. But Elsie Myers Stainton. I bought a book on developmental editing. Can you see that? Developmental editing. A handbook for freelancers, authors and publishers. So it would be help helpful for me when editing my novel anyway. Um, that one is by Scott Norton. So those are two of the books I got in the post today. Hopefully the third one will arrive so I can show you that one as well. That one I'm quite excited about. It's, it's less learning, more fun. <laughs> I'm going to try and do some writing. I have, another, I have a session with Think Media today. I'm doing their five day challenge for developing on YouTube. One of my goals in life is to end up with financial freedom and the freedom to work from anywhere, set my own schedule because with the ADHD, it's really hard to do that neurotypical nine to five. <laughs> so one day I'd really like to be able to do that and I'm figuring out things along the way as to what things would be good for me to do. And if you could hear the bin men, I'm really sorry because they're just coming, but luckily I was just, tidying up this little bit and we're going to do a little bit of writing and I will check in with you if anything drastic happens.
Good evening. We are at 20 past 11 on Wednesday. I finally got some writing done. I've done 540 words, so I have surpassed the 2,000 word mark on my short story. I did write the final scene, or at least the main section of the final scene, because I wanted to do that. I needed to get that out of my brain. So tomorrow I hope to finish the first draft and then I can, for the next Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four days, edit. <laughs> afternoon it is quarter past one yesterday i wrote down some things that i would quite like to get done today so there's finishing draft one of the short story there is researching for a video that i want to do there's writing starting the script for the video that i want to do and there's possibly starting to edit this vlog um so that it's not all of it has to do in one go because i'm trying to manage myself a little bit better these days <laughs> so yeah i'm on 2021 words no hair, no. I had an initial concept of a name for it, but I don't think it really fits it anymore. I'll be able to use that initial title as like a code name for it, maybe. <laughs> I filled my teapot, so hopefully it's brewed now, and I'm gonna get going on finishing the first draft of Project Chronically Understimulated. So I've played around a little bit with the part that I wrote last night and changed it a little bit. I don't really know why. I think I'm afraid of the middle. I'm not quite sure what I'm putting in there. Um, then we took the dog for a walk in the forest. I've had a shower, as you can see. Right in this moment, I think I'm not going to try and write anymore because I'm, I don't think my brain is there right now. Maybe after the session, but I think for this next hour, I want to research for a video idea I have which was on the list of things I wanted to do today. Um, so, get going with that. So I didn't get any writing done today. It is now almost 11 p.m. I'm in bed. I've been staying on the sofa bed downstairs for the last few days with them with Albert. It's because he's not allowed to use the stairs right now. I didn't actually update you. I started a new book. I'm reading Duncton Wood. It's literally <laughs> about moles. <laughs> Set deep in the English countryside, this enchanting story tells of an ancient community losing its soul, but saved by courage and love. There's two more. I, I own them. And I literally saw that it was a fantasy about moles. And I was like, I am getting it. And I'm getting the entire series regardless. <laughs> One, they're beautiful. And the thing that really sold it for me is that Magnus Magnuson, <laughs> what a name, called it an absolute spellbinder. It's Lord of the Rings, but Watership Down. Kind of wish I had finished the story today. I'm trying not to force things but I also do need to get at least the first draft finished so that I can do a couple of editing days because as much as it's the first thing I've submitted or will have submitted I want to at least have given it a good shot. <laughs> shot. I was just about to say good morning but then I got a parcel. Parcel. Hello. Good morning. Anyway, good morning. <laughs> It is currently 11 a.m. We have made it into the a.m. I actually had to do a little update swab for Anthony Nolan. It's the bone marrow transplant list. I've been on it since I was in college. Helps people with blood cancer. There's not enough people on the Anthony Nolan bone marrow transplant registry. It's so rare to get a, a marrow match. I've never been asked to donate anything. It would take you out. So it isn't something to take lightly. It's not as easy as donating blood but there's so few people on it that there's barely any matches. But we have a package. Hello. <laughs> Ignore how messy everything is. Everything's a little bit crazy right now. This one is probably the third one out of the three that I'd ordered from World of Books the other day. Oh, it's so much bigger than I thought it would be. Ah. I got 
A Year in Tokyo, the illustrated memoir by um, Christiane Jones. I don't know if you watch her on YouTube. She's a writer here on YouTube and I've been wanting this ever since it got released and I'm so glad I finally have it. Yay! It's so beautiful. And look at, she's drawn herself. There it is. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> a Year in Tokyo is an illustrated travel guide and memoir. The perfect companion for any would-be explorer seeking insider recommendations on the best that Tokyo has to offer. All the while taking you on the journey of what it's really like to live and work in Japan's capital. Oh my gosh. It's been done by a company called, of, I don't know if you'll be able to see, of, um, of mountains and mushrooms, just here. <laughs> what a great company name. There's stuff in here like how to make egg toast, her favorite Japanese phrases, and then she's got pictures of where she's been and places. These ones are bookshops. Oh, that's in Jimbocho. I think she went there in one of her recent, did she go there in one of her recent vlogs? I'm not sure, she's one of my favorite people to watch on here. She's just so nice. She lives in Australia and she's such a lovely person and I'm so glad I get to read this. Um, <laughs> he's still, he's still like this. Hello. <laughs> oh, I love you. So I'll read till 12. 12, I'll try and do a bit of writing, maybe till one, because then I have to get ready to go to work. It doesn't take long to get there. But yeah, then I'll check in with you a little bit later. I really like about writing you think you know what your story is about until you write it and then you find themes coming through that weren't your initial intention but make complete sense and I, I just wanted to share okay so it is now just past one o'clock I need to get ready for work soon and um, but I just wanted to run through what I had done. So I started on 2,119 words and I'm now on 2,515 and I'm really happy with what I've written. I'm really enjoying, as I said, I've found the theme. So yes. It is Friday evening and again I have not yet finished the first draft and now it is 9.25. I have to be up for work at half past five in the morning. I should have the afternoon to write but I also want to get my sag after video scripted and recorded because Think Media have got an upload a video challenge as their daily challenge for today's live stream so I'll have a lot to do tomorrow but tonight I get to sleep in my own bed so hopefully I'll sleep well. <laughs> at all yesterday. I was feeling pretty rubbish because after I left you before it was about half past nine and I went to bed but couldn't sleep. I didn't sleep till 3 a.m. Had to get up at 5 a.m. so I was on two and a half hours sleep and I haven't written because I felt really rubbish. It's now 5 p.m. I'm really tired. My stomach has started hurting so it's gonna be a great evening because I do I have to I have to write something or I won't finish. <laughs> I know that finished is better than perfect, but I don't want to submit something so awful that they don't want to include it in the in the overall anthology, <laughs> you know? Um, I want it to be at least worthy of being nodded at. To be like, that was, that was a story. <laughs> so tonight I'm gonna do my best to finish that first draft. <laughs> A little bit tense in my brain right now about whether this is going to get done because I've had months to do it but obviously there's no point getting frustrated about the past and what I didn't do because I can't change the fact that I didn't do it. I'll check in with you a little bit later to see how I got on. So it is Monday the 31st. We're on the final day. It's now just about to turn three o'clock. Can you say hi? Hey. I need to sort this out and I have a weird feeling I'm going to completely rewrite it before this submission time. So I've set up a little countdown but just over nine hours. That's just a full work day after a work day isn't it? Eight hours? <laughs> Easy. So I'm gonna shower and then get started. I'm showered. He's still he. He seems like he wants to go outside so I'll start off outside with him in the garden as people say starting over is 
not the same or something because you're starting over from experience. I'm trying to have a positive mindset because I'm a little bit underlying stressed about the deadline. Where are we at anyway? It's 4.05, so that's how long we've got. Seven hours 51. I've been using my visual timer. But anyway, that was such a tangent. I don't know why I was even talking about that. What I wanted to say is that I've been using my timer and I had 20 minutes of just writing down thoughts and then it beeped and then I put it for another 20 minutes for like a the, my version of an outline which is actually writing like down like points to actually cover or to write um, and then while I was doing that I, I knew this was going to happen I've had a completely new idea to completely change it what is it? You have everything you need and you just ate. I think this one will be easier to do. I was writing in third. I'm gonna write it in first. In third person, it takes longer to get to know them because you've got like that external narrator. Whereas the first person is the much more intimately connected person to write in. Where are we? We are 10 past four. I actually think I'm gonna sneak for a coffee. I am on a tangent parade today. Uh, I think I might just be excited that I've had a new idea and I quite like it. Anyway, time doth tick forward. <laughs> anyway, oh my gosh, I digress. Goodbye. With seven hours and 24 minutes to go, I am gonna get my laptop out and just type. because I'm making tea. I just wanted to say the webinar that I was gonna watch is just about to start. Looks like technically already started. But I wanted to jump in and say I did get about 550 words down and then I got distracted. There's something going on on the screen so I better put on my headphones and uh, listen and then I'll get typing at the same time. I bought that plan. I can't possibly do the whole thing in one evening and that was such a ridiculous idea. Why do I do that? No, I couldn't write when the webinar was on. Why do I also think I can always do that? I can't. I got myself a Christmas pudding because why not? And we have three hours and 41 minutes until the deadline. <laughs> Done is better than perfect. Done is better than perfect. Done is better than perfect and it will be the first thing I've ever submitted. Can't expect it to be good. Finish the first draft. I finished the first draft. Oh my god, I finished the first draft. <laughs> We're really cutting it fine. We have two hours, 34 minutes until the deadline. I'd like it in before the deadline, at least a bit. Oh yeah, and the final draft has got to 2,994 words as it stands without editing. Hopefully I don't want to ever add anything. <laughs> oh, I've almost submitted a story. It's crazy. The next time we check in will most likely be the submission, so... <laughs> Ooh. Yeah.